Hi everyone, it's Mrs. D again. Second video on how to use the compound microscope and actually make a slide. I have a glass slide here and a glass cover slip, which you can probably barely see, and a little cup with some yeast, little brown grains of yeast, and um, sprinkled into water. And I'm going to take a small drop of that solution and put it on a slide, really just that much. It's a very tiny drop. See? and find my cover slip and I'm going to slowly lower my cover slip onto there and avoid air bubbles and I don't have a lot of liquid leaking off the side of the slide because we do not want to mess up or get um, any of our lenses um, or the microscope messy because then it's very difficult to observe specimens to put a slide on the microscope or arm microscopes, you just open this little arm here and place the slide carefully onto the stage and it will be secured into place. You could move the manual, um, you use the manual adjustment knobs to put your um, specimen, center it right over the iris or the light source up here on the stage. Now here's the most important point. Um, it's really easy. Students always have trouble using microscopes, but it's really very simple. Here, I'm going to try to teach it to you in, in like a couple basic steps. Number one, course adjustment, big movements. Put the stage as far away as it can go from the objective lens, okay? Just start there. You're, I'm not even looking through the eyepiece yet. And make sure that the 4x, the lowest power, is clicked into place. A common error is kids will look through the eyepiece and it'll be dark and they'll say, I can't see anything, I can't see anything. And it's just a matter of clicking that objective lens into place. Okay. Now, once you've got your slide in place, the stage all the way down, only use this course adjustment to start looking through the eyepiece. Slowly bring the stage up to closer to the 4x objective lens. And you should see something appear in your field of vision. It sometimes you will just um, see like dots, but you, you should see something appear. Then use the fine focus knob to bring the specimen into better focus. And you should now never have to go back to the coarse knob. Never touch it again. The reason why these microscopes are so valuable and so expensive is once you focus your specimen using the 4x objective lens, all you do is rotate the next objective lens in, click it into place, look through the eyepiece, and you should just have to make minor movements with this fine focus knob to bring your sample into place. I exaggerated it there, but really I only have to make very small movements. If you have to go back, if, if, some, if your specimen disappears, something was wrong. You really were not focused originally. Always go back to your 4x um, objective lens and start there. If you're going to go back and use this course adjustment again, make sure that you are using the 4x objective lens clicked into place. Okay? And then you can move to higher power. And, oh, did you see what I did? I actually focused it using the course, but I never adjusted it with the fine. Okay, once you've adjusted it with the fine focus, then you can rotate to the next highest power, and now you only need to use the fine focus again. You never really should have to go back to here at all, and, this, and so forth. Once you just focus a little bit with the fine, then you can go to the next power, etc. Et, et and you really should never go to 100x, never go to this, um, use the highest power, because it sometimes hits and cracks the cover slip, the glass cover slip. So the, the, this objective lens should only be used if I give you permission to use it. Okay? Thank you.